Okay, so let's start again. Um, I have the three different listings, and the one that I have has the short title, and the reason I did one with the short title, which I believe is this one, um, is because Etsy has said themselves that they are going to help ranking with the listings that have shorter titles and are more descriptive, rank a little bit higher versus listings that have a lot of keyword stuffing in here or tag stuffing in here just to rank high. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical on how this is going to work because some of my traffic comes, well actually a bulk of my traffic comes from outside of Etsy itself. So, you know, I might not be ranking well at Etsy, but I might be ranking better on Google or Bing search engines, which ultimately might be better for my shop um, than just ranking in Etsy since there's a lot of competition with inside Etsy itself. Um, so that is the example for this one, and then we also have the other one, which is this one, and on this one I left the title really long, kept it the same as what my original listing was, and this one I updated the keywords to make sure that I had less um, single word Anything that was a single word I got rid of and made sure I tried to do some long tail keywords. Technically what they consider long tail keyword is three words per tag, but sometimes it's just not possible so I tried, it, tried my best with these. So what that translates to here on Etsy rank is you can see I have one that ranks high up here um, and then I have a C rating here and even lower C rating here. And this is my short one, as you can see. This is my original listing. And this one is the one with the the better long tags. Oops, let me go ahead and sign in here again. Hold on. Oops. So, in theory, this one should be doing the best. Um, what I kind of want to keep an eye on, and this will change throughout the process, is this visibility score. Um, I want to try to get this as high as I can because that is what's ultimately going to, I mean, that means your listing's visible to people searching with inside Etsy. So we'll see if that changes any. Um, you know, I kind of want to keep an eye on some of these, see what kind of mix I have versus my other ones, um, my other tag listing when this is all done, and then if my one with the short title seems to do fairly well, um, we will actually probably switch the title on this one and maybe make it a little bit shorter, just depending. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to do, just outside of the SEO grade, um, or what you know that I'm doing, one of the other things that I did want to mention that I'm doing, but I just want to know that it, uh, let you all know that it's fair, is that during this time I am doing promoted ads. Um, I think I'm only spending like 15 cents, but all of them are the same amount of spend on these, so I just wanted to make sure I'm giving them all a fair chance to be seen. Um, it looks like this one's already got one view, and I just, I mean, this is two days old. I, I meant to do it right away, but, um, you know, I had some hang up. Oops. Let me back in. Ah. something else that I wanted to show. Let's see. Okay, so in my listings here. So let's see. This one's already had only one view and it's two days old. So let me see the other ones really quick. Because one of them is really old because this is when I originally opened my shop a few years ago. And Let's see the short one. If, let's see if this has any views yet. Visibility score is zero, which is horrible. So far, nobody's viewed it. <laughs> um, I also did share all of these on my social media channels, just like I said, making sure I'm giving a good effort, make sure these are really seen. Um, yeah, see, this is like really old, but like I said, I had this store open a few years ago, and it, you know, oh, 2015. So I, I had it, you know, a few years ago, and it's 
it keeps all the data information from that. And I know I've had more than one sale on this than Etsy, so I think I had two separate listings at one point because um, I had two versions of this soap, and this was ended up being the better seller for me. Um, Yeah, so we're going to also look at the conversion rate, and like I said, hopefully we will get some good conversions on this, and maybe we can get rid of this old one because it's, you know, ranking visibility pretty low, and I want to just try to improve my shop and see if this helps any. So let me know what you guys think, leave a comment, and say if you think it's going to be better or worse, if you think I'm going to sell any at all. Um, like I said, since I've revamped my shop and redid all the information over the summer, I haven't seen any lift on my um, soap products since reopening. And so I just kind of wanted to see what was going on with that. It has officially been 30 days, and I have pulled up on my screen the left hand side is the A listing after 30 days and the C listing. Of I should clarify that when I say A and C, that is the SEO grade that I'm referring to. Um, so the one with the C listing was I just copied the original listing and I basically just changed the um, title to a shorter title because that was supposed to be very beneficial to Etsy listings. Um, and the one with the A listing, I went ahead and I changed the tags to see what was going to be the main differences here. So. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see them side by side. As you can see, our visibility score on this A listing, um, I think when I originally listed them both, they were at 100%, but this is now averaged out to 29%, which um, is a lot lower than I would like, but I think for some of my soap listings, it's a little bit higher. Um, soap, I find it hard to rank for, but you know it's something that I need to continue improving on and um, just go ahead and you know, keep experimenting with different things. Um, the other one with the short title has a visibility of nine, which is absolutely horrible. So you can see this one only got two views over the 30 days, and um, this one got five views. Neither of them got any hearts, which again is disappointed, but um, it's okay. Um, these will continue to grow. As you can see, what I wanted to show you is down here on the tags, so I changed all my one word tags that I had. I revisit those and make sure that they were more of the long tail keywords, which if you don't know what that is, it is just typically um, keywords that are, you know, two to three words long. And it would be something that, you know, somebody would be more inclined to search. For example, this one I have soap. Somebody might search soap, but if you think about how many um, things are just going to come up on Etsy or Google. Soap is a very broad term, whereas this is, you know, we have handmade soap, vegan soap, um, best charcoal soap, and stuff like that, or even coal soap. So I think the reason this one is getting more visibility, and this is something you kind of have to play with and find, you know, a happy medium, is I have a lot of words that have a low Etsy competition as you can see, and a few that have high Etsy competition just because I want to make sure that we're ranking somewhere. So, so you can definitely see that makes a difference. Um, I tried to make sure that you know everything was the same descriptions on both of these, so the way that they would be ranking. And you can see I have like a lot of, like this one was pretty bad, Cole, like it doesn't really say anything. I mean, it's got more search chart or more listings versus cold soap. Um, let's see. The vegetarian friendly was okay. I was trying to get something besides the vegan friendly. Um, and then I have a bunch of words that don't rank and I might change these out later. But I mean, this really to me describes what the product is. And, you know, it might have, I didn't check this out, so we're going to check it out together, see if it's ranking on Google Trends, um, which is a nice feature of Etsy, too. So you can see it kind of has been climbing up, and let's see, I mean, it's only got 84 and 74, so it's not crazy high, but it's good to kind of see. And then this can also give you some 
other ideas of like different search terms if you're looking for things. So I'm definitely going to keep playing with my um, search terms and see what works. Let me. Alright. So basically, what we found from this is that, you know, the tags are playing a much bigger role than anything else, probably, in your listings along with your description. Hold on. We do. If you guys have found anything that is working for your shop, and if you're using E-Rank or Etsy Rank, as some of you know, go ahead and leave a comment and tell us what's working for you and your shop, and that way we can all learn together. Thank you for watching.